The Egyptian constitution states that Islam is the country's official religion and the main source for determining the laws of the land. Freedom of religion applies only if someone wants to convert to Islam, but leaving Islam is prohibited. So trying to change one's religion from Islam to Christianity is not only against the law, but is also very dangerous. That's why Mohammed Hagazi and his family are in hiding. Hagazi took the unprecedented step of going to court to change his religion from Islam to Christianity on his national ID card. Muhammad's highly publicized trial went to court, and the judge denied him the ability to change his religion to Christianity. If Muhammad goes against the court, he could face three to ten years in prison and a hefty fine. Muhammad and his then pregnant wife Christina began running from the law. A month later, baby Miriam was born while they were in hiding. Christina's family and friends have threatened to kill her because she married a convert to Christianity. Muhammad became a follower of Jesus over 10 years ago when he was 16, and his new faith was tested early and often. When his father, who hated Christians, learned his son had become one, he was very angry and threatened him with death. State security were called in, and Muhammad was arrested and then questioned by a very aggressive officer. His questions were about who helped you to embrace Christianity, and he wanted to know names of the people. But I told him my testimony about how I listened to the Christian radio station and that nobody helped me to become a Christian. So he spent three days torturing me in a very serious way. A very rough way. He was beating me. He was whipping me. He was putting his shoes into my face. Muhammad says there is a specialized office in the state security against Christian evangelism. All the officers in that office are really fanatic about their Islam, really religious. They're very tough and severe against the Muslim converts to Christianity and the Christians. This officer was praying and getting more energy to torture me. Other people also beat me. They put a bandage over my eyes, so I wasn't able to see from where I would be beaten. I couldn't understand my crime, why they were doing that to me, just because I was a Christian. After three days, the officer brought in a Muslim scholar who tried to convince me to return to Islam, and I told him I didn't need anyone to convince me because I was a Christian. Despite death threats, torture, and imprisonment, Muhammad has stayed true to Christ. I've been arrested dozens of times. I can't remember how many times. A few days each time, once for two months. Sometimes they would torture me and sometimes they wouldn't even ask me questions. Muhammad, Christina and Miriam remain in hiding because of Muhammad's desire to change the religion on their identification cards. A desire that has caused a major uproar in Egypt. Many Muslim scholars issued the fatwa saying I must be killed. On television, people were saying if they meet me on the streets, they will kill me. Many fatwas have come up saying I must be killed. The Voice of the Martyrs Canada has partnered with Christians in Egypt to at times help provide shelter and safe houses for Muhammad, his wife and daughter, and other believers from Muslim backgrounds who are facing similar trials.